Hey guys, what's going on? This is the Celsius AMA recap for June 18th, 2021. So starting out, we have Alex coming from Tel Aviv, Daniel, the co-founder, and Zach, of course. And he says they are heading to meet the Serbian team next week. So right now, Daniel's talking about the history of Celsius, how he met Alex. So they have been in business together and known each other for 14 years, going over a couple different businesses they've been partners in. So they were both investing in other companies, startups, uh, doing advisory things on advisory boards. So they had to make a decision of whether to continue to just invest in companies as investors and advisors, or to actually dive in and build something from scratch. So before Alex and Daniel started Celsius, Alex has already had $3 billion companies, three unicorns. So Alex was basically like, hey, I'm not going to do anything unless it really, really, really changes the world. He and Daniel were in kind of semi-retirement. They didn't like that. They wanted to do something else. And here we are. So now they're talking about why there is such a high retention in Celsius. And Daniel says it's because employees really, really feel like they are making a difference. And when they go home, they are a part of something bigger than themselves and have a mission. So right now at the 13 minute mark or so, they're both talking about how Celsius truly is changing people's lives, you know, redefining what success means, where it's not just how much money you can accumulate yourself, but it's how much you can give back. Alex mentions Buddhism, talking about those philosophies regarding Celsius. It's a pretty cool conversation so far. So Alex is talking about just how amazing crypto is to make such a huge difference in people's lives. He gives the example of Vitalik Buterin, who I believe couldn't even come to this country, was a dropout, was not accepted into working with Ripple. And obviously now, you know, he's empowered and given, you know, hundreds of thousands of people potentially jobs within the Ethereum ecosphere and DeFi and whatever. So right now, Daniel's talking about why they opened an office in Israel and talking about just how talented people are there and talking about how the experience that most Israelis go through going to the army right after high school makes them much more mature, makes them know what they want in life uh, very, very soon. And also they learn a tremendous amount of high level uh, technology skills because of the army. So he says there's a good reason why there is such a high amount of NASDAQ listed tech companies that either have offices or have started in Israel. So Daniel said that right now the team in Israel is 60 and by the end of the year, he wants to double it to 120. So the first Bitcoin for non-US people are going to earn 6.2%. And that starts actually now. So this next cycle and the first 100 ETH that you hold are also going to earn a higher rate as well for non-US people. And proof of community is set to go live on the 24th of this month. So this is a way for people to trustlessly confirm everything that Celsius says they're doing, uh, they are indeed doing. So they're covering a story talking about the Fed signaling the first interest rate rise will come in 2023. So Alex is saying this is not good for you, but it is good for the banks because they don't have to pay you any money on your savings for one. And Alex reemphasizes that the rates for Celsius and DeFi have nothing to do with what the Fed is doing. It's its own separate market. So here's a story saying that the Senator Cynthia Loomis is a big fan of Bitcoin. She's from Wyoming. And Alex said it is important to have people in the government support Bitcoin. They can vote pro crypto for a lot of issues. The banks have huge amounts of money that they use to lobby. So this is something that is a very good thing. So Alex is talking about the latest big rug pull story that affected Mark Cuban in the crypto space, this coin Titan, and it went basically from 62 to zero in 16 hours. And people lost $3 billion in a day. And the important part is that Celsius had nothing in this protocol. Uh, they would have caught this and probably seen this red flag before. So there's a video that Alex did on Kitco News talking about his prediction for the price of Bitcoin. So Daniel's talking about his role in Celsius Network. So if you want to check it out, you can go to like around the 40 minute mark or so. He does say that they are going to open up a customer service center in Vegas with hundreds of people. So somebody asked Daniel how Celsius has changed his life and if he feels a big responsibility for people's financial well-being. And he said that just reading people's experiences about how Celsius has helped them has really, really changed his life. So somebody asked Daniel about where he sees the future of Celsius and also the crypto space. 
He thinks that Celsius is really going to impact and influence a lot of the other banking sectors or how we interact with banks in the traditional world. And he says that he wants everyone to see Celsius as that one place, that one banking place that everybody uses. Somebody asked about job opportunities. Daniel said, if you have the talent and the passion, you will probably get a job. Just email HR. And for the 6.2% rate that non-US people are going to be getting in Bitcoin, that does not have anything to do with your uh, your level. So you don't have to be platinum. You don't have to have any sell. You could just have, as Alex said, $10 in Bitcoin, and you are still going to earn that 6.2% rate. So regarding ETH2, he says, wait another week or two. Uh, there's still some uh, things they want to iron out with the rates and making sure people understand the difference inside the app. So in the next coming weeks, it will be very clear inside the app, which is normal ETH, which is the ETH2, and how long you have to lock it up and all that. So somebody asked whether they can earn their referral commissions. So the $40 people are getting to refer their friend in sell token. And Alex said, uh, no, they want to make sure that it's not a security and make sure that they're doing everything kosher by the SEC. Accredited investors should be able to earn in sell by the end of next month. And Alex said that it's important to be really, really safe when it comes to these things. Regulators could come and shut down everything if you give them a reason. So he reemphasizes that, you know, these things that people don't really like about Celsius, oh, why can't I earn and sell? Why is this happening the way it is? It's to protect everybody and everyone's assets. So somebody asked, how does mining Bitcoin help the Celsius community? He basically said it's betting on Bitcoin and being very long on Bitcoin, you have to be in the mining business. And Alex is saying it's also another source of yield. So Daniel said that their goal or one of their goals is to make it so you never have to step inside a bank ever again and have everything you need to do regarding banking be inside of the Celsius ecosystem accessible on your app. So Alex says something interesting. He said, if you want to use Celsius as a retirement account, it's similar to a corporate account. You can essentially like create a corporate account. I wasn't entirely clear what he was saying there, but uh, I think it'll be more clear in the future exactly how to do that. So Alex said that if you're looking at companies from their balance sheet, how many assets they have, how many loans they're doing, et cetera, Celsius is the biggest player in the space. And Alex is talking a little bit about BlockFi indirectly, where they keep having to raise money from outside investors. And Alex says, why? Well, they clearly don't have as much money on their balance sheet as Celsius does. They don't have as much cash or else they wouldn't need to be getting investors money. And regarding the Bank to the Future equity round, Alex said that you have not missed anything. It has not begun. And the reason they're doing an equity round is not because they need the cash. It's to onboard and bring uh, big partners into Celsius. And while they're doing that, they're going to open it up for everyone else You know, if they want to invest in Celsius as well. So here is a letter that was written to Alex talking about his experience with Celsius network and how it has positively changed his life. So Alex said the credit card is still on track to come out Q3. So somebody asked when Celsius will enable uh, SHIB tokens, kind of as a joke. It was just listed to Coinbase a few days ago. And Alex said they are much more selective with what coins they add. They're not picking favorites, but they have to be able to earn yield on that coin. Whereas say Coinbase, all they care about is if people are going to be buying it and then selling it. They're going to make money on both sides of that. And Alex also mentions that all these places that get make money when you trade, like Coinbase, Gemini, exchanges, they want you to trade. So they'll send you messages when the market's volatile to get you emotional to trade and buy. Celsius, they just want you to hodl. They don't want you to trade. Alex said the only message that they want to send you every Monday is just how much free coins they gave you. That's it. So somebody asked that now that Coinbase is listing DOT, can US users start earning interest on DOT and will it be added to the Celsius wallet? So Alex said that they are actually more cautious than Coinbase sometimes. So you can already earn on DOT if you are international, but they still want to hear from the SEC if it's okay for US uh, people to earn in DOT. So somebody asked about restrictions on cell pay and can it replace something like Western Union? So Alex says that if you see it in your app, that means you can use it. And Alex says that it's free and instant. So if you're able to use it, you should definitely take advantage of it. So I'm noticing that this AMA is one where you really have to listen to hear the tone in Daniel's voice of his conviction and passion. It's not more about the facts, what they're talking about. People are asking Daniel questions about what's your conviction that Celsius will be here in 100 years? What's your passion around this or that? So if this AMA is shorter, 
or a little bit blander than the others. That is why. It's more about listening to the tone of his voice. But if I can sum it up, I mean, this guy has 1,000 million percent passion and conviction about what he's doing, about how he's helping people, about the mission of Celsius, about truly, truly changing the world. And, um, you know, somebody asked, will you and Alex ever retire? He's like, why would we retire? What would we do with our life? I mean, they're really, really passionate about uh, what they're doing here. So somebody asked if there are any politicians that are already Celsians. Alex says that we have around a million customers. You're going to get people in every walk of life, in every profession. All right, guys, that is it for the AMA recap, June 18th, 2021. Thanks for watching and feel free to reach out to me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, or shoot me an email or leave a comment if you have any questions.